The big question was, can we identify the market in which we can build something exciting? Can we also raise the capital to get there? Because at the end of the day, 95% of startups die with a product. They don't die because they cannot get the product to work. 95% of them get it to work. The problem is that they stop to exist because they run out of money. It's no more a matter of a function. Mm -hmm. Same goes for pretty much any product uh, that you use. It's For a lot of people, it's not important what it looks like. But when they see something that looks better, they prefer it. Everybody wants something that looks better, regardless of uh, of the, you know, for some people the brand is also important, but regardless of where it comes from and so on, if you put an ugly thing next to a beautiful thing, everybody would go for the beautiful thing. Mm -hmm. It's our nature. First, you need to know, okay, what group of customers am I going to add value for? So you have to be very uh, specific in defining what exactly group of customers you're aiming for. Secondly, because you defined very well that group of customers, you have to get to know their needs and problems very well. I tend to believe that a lot of startups uh, got a little bit confused uh, over time that uh, hyping and uh, over-promising uh, is more important than you actually objectively sitting, drawing the line at the end of the day and seeing through the efforts that I've done today, through the product or the service that I have created, am I objectively improving life conditions and, and, and the world around me in the way that, that I'm, I wish to, or am I a little bit self-delusioning uh, myself about the impact that I'm actually making. Because they taught me how you're supposed to think about your business. Not that you shouldn't be emotional and you shouldn't think about values and missions and stuff. Don't get me wrong. That's also important. But you also have to understand the blood of your business. You need to quantify the value you're creating to someone. Sometimes the value is um, not even related to, to money. Sometimes it's something else but you need to be able to quantify that in one way or another. The value creation, you know, when you, when you create value for mm -hmm. someone, it will, never, it will never be changed. There will, no, there, there will be no business which doesn't create value mm -hmm. for, its, uh, for its customers, audience or, or whatever. So this thing doesn't change. Follow the link in the description to watch the whole episode. And if you are just as passionate about innovation as we are, Hit subscribe for the Recursive Podcast on YouTube or your favorite podcast platform. We're everywhere.